Yo, now that our report is, our calculations are well structured, I think the next thing to do is to start creating different reports and an amazing um, dashboard, right? But before you do that, one thing I always add, one thing I always advise people is that you should not use more than probably two colors or maximum three colors when you are designing a dashboard. You can get your inspirations from coloraunt.co or colors.co. You can get different inspirations from dashboard. But for this dashboard, I'm going to um, give you guys, I have some resources I've kind of put together. So these are all the pictures from Adidas. I got all these pictures. So the pictures, I'm, the uh, probably colors I'm going to use for my background, the inspiration is gotten from this picture. So if you look at this picture, there is a background color of this picture here. So this is the same color I'm going to use for my um, background uh, color, which is this particular color at the back. So this is what I'm going to use for my background as well. And I'm going to use blue, like a color blue to complement that. A dark blue a little bit and probably a, a, a color close to um, ash also to complement that. So one thing I also have is I have this color code here that I've put together for my dashboard. So I'm going to use this color for the background i'm going to use this color to complement it i'm going to use this uh, blood test color just to put some test some test i don't really want to show black but i don't want to show very well i'm going to use this color so basically i'm using two colors or probably three but the three is just for test right so i'm using basically two colors right and the first color i'm going to use is this one so i'm going to copy it so i'm going to copy i'm going to drop the sources of these colors in the description as well just in case you need this color so i'm going to copy this color code right i'm going to go um straight back into my report and right here into my report so i have uh, my blank pages here so this is a blank page so to change to the background color of your report in power bi you have to come to this format and make sure you are not selecting anything where there's nothing to select so you have to come to this uh, format your report and here you will see canvas background right from here i'm going to come to color I uh, can as well select any color from here, but I don't want the color here. I have my own special color, so I'll paste it here, right, which is the color of the back of the picture that I show you. And this is the code, right? And then I'll select um, nothing. And once I do that, the color is already here, but the transparency is not making it show. So I'm going to reduce the transparency to zero, right? So you can see this is actually the color of the background of the image that I want to use. And I think I'm getting there. So the first thing I'm going to create is probably the home page of this uh, report. So let me tag this as home. Let me name this as home page, right? Home. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm just going to design home page. And in this home page, I think I need like uh, a shape. So I'm going to come here and bring a shape. I'm just designing this based on inspirations that come, right? But you can actually design yours any way you like but if you want to mimic mine i will advise you to mimic as well but just make sure you create something interesting and so since i said i have a color i want to complement so i don't need to use this blue i can come to style and go back to my color i have this second blue color so that i want to use to complement my design so I will, instead of using this i will come to more colors again and paste this my own color here and you can see this color it's just blue nothing really special right just blue and that is my color Okay, so uh, that is it. Uh, probably I should duplicate this again. Control C, Control V. Um, use my other color, which is this one. So I'm going to be using this color, this code a lot. And that is why you should always use it when you are building your report. And it's already here since I used it previously. So you can see it's E D E F F O. So I'm selecting it and I'm switching on the border for this. I don't want any border for this. So I just want to have this like this, that's like this. Well, the reason why I put this here, I will explain it, but I just put this here for now. And then uh, I should probably go to insert and bring in Adidas logo now. So let me go to my, uh, the resources. Um, of, okay, I have, the, I have everything saved in my um, cost resources. And here, this is the logo. So I'm going to select the logo and then make it, and then make it smaller, very small so very small and then put it here so this is the logo design so i'm gonna i'm kind of getting there right so the next thing i'm also going to do is to kind of add a title for this um uh, entire page so i want to call it adidas us sales um analysis so i'm i'll come to insert select um text box text box and type adidas us sales analysis all right great so i'm going to use maybe size uh, 40 for this 
think 40 should be big enough yes 40 is fine and i'm going to change this color of this to my blue which is the color i've been using so i'm going to maintain that and i'm going to use area black for this so just the area black font right now it's looking like my color but this background i don't like it so i can come to effects here and switch off the background right switch off the background of the test so this look nice a little bit now the next thing i want to do is probably i want to bring like a page different pages of my report i want to have like uh, different pages just to say okay so i want to navigate to this page this page this page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to insert i'm just being uh, creative right uh, let me use this guy this chevron arrow right and this arrow i want to make it a little bit very small very smaller very smaller like this and i'm going to change the color to my color by going to style change it to this one and this is actually uh, my color remember that's the color that i like right uh yep so and i'm going to duplicate this three times so because i want to have like uh, probably like um, three pages at the end of this um this dashboard so i want to have like three pages so and i want to just do a simple design of those three pages oh no 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 I've, I've, that's a mistake and then drag this probably here and then um, maybe i should push this forward a little bit too i'm just being creative though so uh, that's what i'm doing now the next thing i'm going to add is like buttons right that will navigate to those places so i'll come here and select blank buttons blank buttons and then that buttons will just be here and then i can come here style switch on the test call this one uh the first page i would like to create is product because i would like to have a, a page where all my product is to show different products so let me increase this to like 20 and then let me change the color to my color and then um let me remove the the border color so i just have product here right so i can duplicate this actually so that it's easy for me to create the rest so uh, what should I call the next page? Let me call it uh, Deep Analysis or Deep Insight or something. Um, deep Insight. And then that's the next page I would like to create. Then after that, I would like to create um, the third one, probably a trend analysis, just to show some trend. Trend analysis. Analysis. <laughs> all right. So this is all the three pages I want to create um, in my report. And I'm going to kind of navigate. So when I'm done, I'll switch on the actions to navigate to all those pages. Now, uh, this place is kind of blank. So what can I put here? So I can actually bring in another picture. So I have a picture here. I did that picture, this picture here. So let me bring it here and then um, probably put it somewhere here. So creativity is very important when you are building a dashboard. That's another thing you should take note of. So you need to be very, very creative when you are building a dashboard. So um, let me make this a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Yep. So, um, yeah. So I may want to send it to back, right? So that this can come at the top of it. But before I do that, let me, um, I can just leave this picture like this. I need to kind of make it look nice. So another trick I can show you is come to shape, select this shape. Uh, let's put a shape at the top of the picture just a shape at the top of it change this color to my color remember that my color and let's increase the transparency of that shape a little bit can you see how interesting that is so i can leave it at 50 all right so can you see how interesting that is so that's just kind of ploy backward right so this i want the two of them i want this guy to kind of come uh, to the front so let me um bring this to uh, probably bring this to the front so it will cover the shape so it will make it look neat right so i'll go to format and say align and bring to front no sorry bring forward and bring to front right so that way it has covered that but i've already reduced it so it doesn't cover this um, adidas logo so it has covered this heading okay now i can also still leave this like this i can put some things here right i can still put some things here so let's put a map this shape map so i'm going to put a shape map here and i'm going to do my first report the very first report right i'm going to go to location and select state right i want to do state by anchor and select um sales so let's see sales by sales all right and this is it 
So this is my sales by sales. And this is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the map setting. Oh no, the general setting of the map effects and then blow out the white very well. So it's kind of blow into the, the, the shape. It's kind of blow into here. Plus into here and then I should probably switch off the title too so I don't need the title for now I just leave the map here like this and then I'll change the color of the map too so the few color the maximum color should be my color so so that you can blend into the color I've, I, I, I'm using already and I think that is it so I have a page but I can still put some things here so it's not just blank so I can go to insert and bring in some pictures which is probably some of this picture and then put it here and since they are the same color remember i said i'm using the background color of this so it should blend easily right so let me bring another one so i'm going to bring this probably this one as well and just um, put it here so that this place is not blank let's just see some product here okay so inside again um bring probably another one here i'm just bringing different pictures right so you can do the arrangement anyhow you like so okay so yep and then do another one and then probably this last one and then put it here so make it very small very very small yep so i'm getting there and i, I think that's it you can even uh make it a little bit spacious so it's kind of um easy right so you can arrange that the way you like i can even put something at the top here so probably like a test you can just so that that place is not just empty so i can put um a test like probably because this is a product so some people may want to do some delivery so i can just think of what i should write there so probably i should write something like um free standard shipping and return just like this it is on um adidas website free standard um shipping and um, return so this is just designed so it doesn't have it doesn't have anything to do with um, what i'm doing i'm going to make it color white and i'm going to reduce the size and then put it up here switch off the background so um free standard shippings and return okay so that is it and that is how to create the the cover page so right here we've been able to create our cover page i may want to add something else to this cover page probably like the region so i can slice and dice this uh, report so i can actually add region as well so by clicking a slicer here this is a slicer here and this slicer i put in my region here and then i'm going to switch off the background for the region change the value to white since i'm putting it on this place and switch off the the background here okay and also i think i need to switch off the the headings to the slicer header and i can just carry that and put it here so so what this means is you can slice and ties your reports by different region all right and i think this is just um, the home page so let's dive into creating the new page which is the product page